Hey there, so we're tying up construction of our data pipeline project now and I want to walk you through the interface of how we're going to be managing pipelines for, for other digital agencies and organizations. It's a really simple Google Sheets interface. It's got a couple different pieces to it. There's a uh, config tab which we hide by default. That's where you can set like the Google Cloud project and that's how you would move this from one client to another. We've got a table builder page, which is how we build our database tables. And then we also have a clients sheet. And we also have a log so that we can track when things go poorly. And we also have all these different functions. We can pull in a client's uh, list of websites from Search Console. We can turn those website addresses into BigQuery friendly table names. We can make our data sets up in the cloud that'll house both our client table and also the individual tables necessary for the uh, data to come in from Google Search Console. We can also build our client table which will house all of our clients configuration data in it. We can add data to the clients table we can build the individual Search Console tables. We can clear the table builder sheet and the client sheet of values to keep it nice and clean. Uh, we can update the client status from active to inactive or inactive to active. We can pull in all of our client data, including how many rows are in each of the individual databases. We've got two different backfill functions, one for all 16 months and just for the last three weeks as well. These are really cool because when they run, they also are tracking which dates don't have any data. And that would be a situation where a website maybe wasn't verified for a chunk of time. And so maybe there's like a, a week to a month long or six month long gap where there's just no data available. Well, we track that in a database so that when we go to check data the next time, we have that list of days that uh, they'll never be data for. We also have an owner's manual, which I'm really proud of, and worked really hard on this. Uh, we're doing a number of different video walkthroughs, how to build out your data studio report template to go along with the report. Uh, how to backfill data, how to update the client status, how to add a specific client, and then also in our documentation, we give really clear information on how to use the tool. It's just a super fun project, and um, I know that it's setting the groundwork for a lot of interesting things to come in 2021.